<clears throat> Let's see if he'll take. Um. Whoa. That took a little bit. I think we're good. Okay, um, <clears throat> let's see if we're successfully back. Oh my goodness, this has been an adventure. Uh, this is Dungeon Mistress back for the fourth time tonight. Attempting to get this stream up and running. We have been having trouble. Stream health keeps going very poorly. And I have spent uh, quite a bit of time walking and never getting anywhere. Let's see, do I have my waypoint? No, I lost my waypoint, so. <laughs> I've lost all the progress. I want to go here, the Cheetah Lake. Chila Lake because there is a mission from Doc about hunting white tail or black tailed deer in the dark. And that sounds like a pretty good idea. I've got a little too much hunting pressure in this area. So, I'm going for a walk. And now, I have a philosophy about games. I like slow gaming. And it means I take my time. It also means I'm not the best game player out there at all. I miss things. Sometimes I don't finish the game. But I just... I have a different play style. I'm, I'm not very fast. If you want to see a lot of fast action, quick progress, then... I'm going to disappoint, unfortunately. But this is a, a quiet walk down a, a foresty road. You know, I spotted some tracks earlier, close to where you're at right now. I'll send the coordinates. He's always popping up when I'm in the middle of doing something, like trying to travel to somewhere else. I tried to keep up with him when I first started this, and I really have to set time aside to work on each of these little missions. And, um, it's kind of interesting how it all works out. I haven't watched many of the other YouTubers playing this. <clears throat> I've seen a couple, but not much. And not enough to have a good idea what I'm doing. And that makes me nervous. I'm still following this trail to somewhere. 
What is that? Uh, black bear. That doesn't make me feel good. They're fresh too, aren't they? Yep. I'm one of the side missions is family picture of black bears. I, I've, I've had enough tingles with black bears trying to get those photos. I am <clears throat> more than happy to leave the bears alone for now. <clears throat> I have no idea if you die and respawn in this game or what, but <laughs> I'm not sure I want to find out. Uh, hmm, this trail kind of ends. Crosses over. <clears throat> Balmoral. Huh, okay. We met up a vanilla trail and now we go this way. I do enjoy this. It's like hiking out in the woods. Just going out and enjoying the fresh air and just looking around. Enjoying it. Oh, squat. What is it? <sighs> well, that is exactly what I've been looking for, isn't it? Okay, get a sip of coffee. <laughs> I don't know where. If I can get a bag of deer, I will happily bag a deer. Even though it's not nighttime. Oh, squat. Okay, I forgot how I did that. Okay, so... I completely forgot all the key bindings. <laughs> okay, I probably have scared off whatever was there with my silly antics of trying to remember how to crouch and crawl. Was he behind me? That's just there is something deeply <laughs> upsetting to have the deer behind you. Why? 
You're never there when I look for you. Anybody know how to hunt deer properly? I have no idea. It's a lot of grass. Ooh, sunny spot. Okay, I'm just gonna warm up in the sunny spot. Eight hundred and thirty seven meters to my waypoint. <sighs> How many different ways can you hunt? That's a question. Okay, we'll just stand up all the way. <clears throat> Stalking and ambushing them is our... Uh, I don't know how. Not yet. I've had a couple tangle with Roosevelt elk. I just looked at the prints. I'm going to go back and continue on my journey to the lake and see what sort of luck I can set up for a night hunt. Uh, I see some prints. They look like bears. Oh, female. This is generally not. Yeah, looking into that valley, I'm seeing further prints and I'm going up. Oh, no, I think I'm going to continue on the trail. I'm going to continue the trail. Keep on walking. Hopefully I'll hear something. Another set of prints along the path. Nope. Let's see here. Uh, coyote droppings. Okay, very old. And another set of prints on our right. Looks like bears. Bears on a trot. And that is a male. Hmm. That was a coyote. I'm going to stay on the trail. So there is a male and female bear pair. Oh, okay. Let's see. Nothing. Nothing in the binoculars. <clears throat> and we continue on the trail. Mm, getting a little bit. Baltimore. Ba mm. Baltimore Lake Hunting Cabins. Hill jackrat. Oh. No. 
Did I find something new? Ooh, I think I did. Maybe. I don't remember this. Hikers. Baltimore Lake. Chila Lake. Uh, I think this is all new to me. Cabin on my right. Cabin on my left. Nice little fire pit. Ooh, I wouldn't mind having a fire pit. Oh, This is not the kind of game I can just sit down and enjoy it, huh? Oops. I forgot how that worked. You cheats! <clears throat> it, sh it showed the hole in the door and then it healed it. Ho oh. ho. That's some actual really nicely modeled bare bones hunting cabin. With bunk bed, table, little spot for a fireplace. Oh my goodness. And no way to enter or interact. It's just a model. I don't know. Whoever did this model, okay, I gotta give you. I, I like it. Oh, that's just so... <clears throat> okay. There's no, no joke. No joke in the outhouse. Okay. Close pins. I have a little, uh... I love the level of detail to this because it's like a, a little clothesline out here with some oil barrels and an outhouse. I mean, the detail is fantastic. If you've ever had any uh, experience working with Blender and doing mesh, and I'm looking at this and I'm going, <clears throat> wow, I kind of want to see the bones of it and see how it was put together. Because it's just, it's fantastic. I love it. And it's one of the more highly detailed pieces. So, I go stare at it. The rocks and stuff, they're pretty low detail. I mean, it's more... Who pays attention to rocks? I do, but most don't. Okay, back on the trail. Okay, I want, I'm going to run across the road and take a look at the other one. See if it's an identical house. It pretty much is. What do we have here? Tracks. Roosevelt Elk. It's an inverse copy. There are some differences. Not too much, though. Nice little saw buck. Mm, the outside things are a little different. Table and bin. Ah, Roosevelt elk go through here. Looks like the same outhouse. Oh. <clears throat> Three little barrels. Now 
Now, something I learned is that some of these places have, like, Easter eggs in this game. So, I'm going to go look at pretty much everything. Everything I can. Alrighty, we're going to go back on the road. Back down the trail after examining the, the, the cabins. I think they're pretty, pretty spectacular. Ooh, more tracks. What do we have here? Um, coyote? Coyote. Yay, I got that one right. I wonder how accurate these trail prints are. Does anybody know? Maybe that's something I need to go look up. Ooh, more trails. What do we have? Rabbit? Blacktail deer. Oh. Blacktail deer. Blacktail deer. Okay, where are we on the map? Oh, I'm close, but not close. Okay. I better go up, up the mountain. That's where the deer seem to be going. So I need to find a, maybe I follow the deer. Yeah, I think we're following the deer back up. More black-tailed deer. Oh, my goodness. It's a lot of tracks over here. I'm definitely going off road, but oh, yeah, I think I know where they bed down now. Those are droppings. A coyote rest zone, right in the middle of a white-tailed deer intersection? Huh. And more droppings of elk. And we're walking. This is uh, another rest zone? Of who? Okay. 
just a little confusing. It's dark. We're back in the dark. Oh, smokes. Let's see if I Let's see if I do that again. Okay. So I thought I forgot that the shift key steadies the breath. Okay, we're just going to take our noisy butts and keep on moving. And let's see. 390 meters to go. We're just making good time. If I don't end up getting eight. Because I keep getting these uh, warning calls of all the species going, No, there's a human out here. Oh, this is cool. I'd be scared that one of those little protrusions would just decide to roll. It's such an unusual looking that's just unusual yeah I wonder do the rocks go tumbling down the hills that's, that's why all those rocks I think finally got birthed out of the mountain. What's it called? Uh, crinulations? Oh, sure. It'll be corrected. Somebody will let me know I'm wrong. How, how high up can I climb on this? Can I play Mountain Goat? Ooh. I think I am playing Mountain Goat. Nope. Oh. I wonder if that's a ladder. I gotta admit, this would be an interesting location to be hunting. I 
I'm a little fa afraid I'm gonna fall down the side of this mountain. <laughs> mm. I don't want to get stuck. At the same time, I just, uh, high lake. Let's see. Let's see, what's the, where does the map? We're in a place called High Lake. Oh. You can almost see how steep that is. And... Oh, wow. Okay. Let's play with this. Ooh. I don't want to be boulder food. Thank you. That's a breathtaking view. That is something else. To the next thing. Ah! It had to happen sometime. <clears throat> they can only slide off the mountain so many times. Up, 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 up. Okay. Oh wow. Oh, there's some tracks in the distance. There's a nice little path down there. Hmm. Where else can we go? 150 meters. Where's my other binoculars? Don't want the revolver. Yeah, those. I don't know what that is. It looks like human waste. Or rather, some sort of can off of a... I don't know. It doesn't look natural. It looks man-made. No, no revolvers. Come on, come on. Where's my rifle? Not the bleeder. Not the can. Not the binoculars. Yeah, that's the one. Chila Lake. And I came here to do a night hunt. I have to admit that sounds crazy because I don't know where nothing is at. I see some tracks and I see a lake. And the tracks are white-tailed jackrabbit. More jackrabbit? Yep, old jackrabbit droppings. Whoa. 
Don't trip, don't trip, don't trip, don't trip, don't trip. Oh, so rocky. Just so unusual. Chila Lake. I am now at my waypoint. That's that. So four would be ah. huh. Interesting big mountain behind me, a lake in front of me, a mountain on the other side of the lake, maybe something from, if I were a deer, what would be safe? Hmm. Yeah, there's a corridor in the north and the corridor hmm okay I'm going to make the assumption that somewhere around here there is a need zone for white-tailed deer I'm going to go look for it. Wonder if we can scout that out. Maybe I can set up an ambush. This is a slow game. But it's peaceful. And it, I find it funny. I don't even put music on playing the game. I just play the game. I travel to Chila. Hoping something opens up. It sounds squishy. Such a rocky, muddy shoreline. Like squish, squish mud. <laughs> this would be like a little puddle, but it's not quite a puddle. That's funny. Sometimes the visuals don't quite match. I, I think it's funny. This whole area is just a, a little wet. So 
so far, no need zones. No tracks in the surrounding area either. That's a little... Isn't that a little unusual? And I got a question mark up ahead. Hmm. We'll get there. We'll get there. Walking our way around the lake. a hunting blind. Okay, let's go take a look. It's 40 meters. Now, why would a hunting blind be here? Twenty one hundred to build. I have that road. I have that area. What is back here? Um hmm. might be worth it. How much do I have? 7,000. Mm. I actually need to score a few hits. You do. I well, it kind of feels like a lazy way to do it, but I think I'm going to be in this area. for quite a while. Uh, here's to hoping it's not a bad idea. Concealed position available. Still in, yep, I still am. Actually, that's not a bad spot for the hunting blind. I'm right up here to the north of the lake in a hunting stand. And I think that that's pretty cool. So I don't know if this is a night hunt. If I can actually do a night hunt. But if I just be quiet for a while. Stay in my blind. then it should be good. Yep. I have to make 
I have to score. So, we are here. And we are waiting. Oh. Stretch. Oh, I'm gonna stretch a little bit. Oh. Clasp two hands in front and just pull the arms. <gasps> Ooh. Mm. Popped a few joints. Yep, I'm a little fidgety. And there I am knocking things around. Because this is the part of the game that's slow. I just sit here and wait. Could be a few minutes, could be a few hours. Just sit here and wait. Looking around. I don't know how close this is to real life, just sitting out here in the wilderness. I suspect it's sped up, distraction and discomfort free. trying to figure out all the sounds and it's a pretty nice layering of sounds. a little confusing. Some of it sounds like wind. Or a rustling of the bush and I keep thinking it's that yellow bush in front of me that's making the noise. <laughs> I just want to pluck it. Go bloop. It's a little too much noise. Waiting for somebody. Okay, so that's Cheetle, Chila Lake. Lookout point and... Hmm, okay. Or just just sitting here chilling.
We're just going to go on to the lookout. We'll come back to that. I'll come back to that later. We'll just go ahead and go on straight up to the lookout and see what we can see there. Get to know the area a little bit better because we put a little bit of hunting pressure at uh, Belmont. Pretty good. I'm still waiting for things to fade before I go back. So we'll explore Chila a little bit and then go back into Balmont. So we're just going to take a walk. We're connecting with the path. And let's take over behind us. And it's getting dark. Which is another reason why I want to go to the lookout. I want to take a good look around. And see if there is like a uh, save location point that we can use while we're in this area. Instead of setting up for a quick hit and run. Well, how about we establish ourselves a little bit. Have a closer walk. Ah, black-tailed deer. And for some reason, we went from good to poor. We went from good to poor on the video. I've been streaming for Am I starting to drop a lot of frames? It has been such an unusual night with streaming. I might have to cut the stream again. And if I do this time, it'll, it'll be the last time for the night and I'll just see what I can do to finish up gameplay for my night, get to a save location and then call it good for a couple days. Yeah, I'm going to call this. No, nope. and we're back. That's interesting. It almost lasted four minutes. And our stream health is back. I don't, I don't know what to think. And we've gone back to poor.
getting something to drink and I'm watching my drop frame rate increase okay there is some more stuff to do behind the hood to figure out what's going on so I am going to call it a night I do believe there is something on my side that's causing drop frame rates and it's probably one of my settings so I definitely appreciate anyone who has dropped by stopped stopped for a little bit and has hung around or has fast forwarded to the ending of this um, please if you can subscribe to catch me on the next stream and to help me out this is Dungeon Mistress signing off. <laughs>